So this is our car. This isn't our car. Peter, this isn't our car. I'm gonna get rid of it real quick. All right, all right, it's gone. We'll show you our car. Just walk right here. Here's our car with the straw, toilet roll, and the black tape. And the black tape with the wheel. The wheel. Uh, I don't. Yeah, look at the wheel. It's itchy. Now a word from Mr. Balloon. <laughs> Affects our car as when the car is in motion, it will keep going forward until the car runs out of gas, which is air in this case. When the car stops moving, it will stay still until we refill air into the balloon. When another, when another force hits the car, it will either move left or right or topple over if the force of the mass is greater than the car. So, so Newton's second law contains of when a car has put force into one direction and then the car will go to the direction the force has been given to. The amount of air pressure um, figures out whether how far it goes and how fast it goes. The balloon is being filled with air, it will start moving in a certain direction. But when the balloon has no more air left, the car will stop moving. That slow down the vehicle or wind, which turns the vehicle since it, the vehicle itself is very light. Friction, where the wheels slow down as time passes. And obstacles, where it chops down speed each time obstacles are run into.